Good afternoon then. Let me just try and lock this gate. Just about to start my walking video. So talking about a subject of my interest whilst out walking. Just getting a different perspective from doing it in my bedroom. Just an overview on a few things. The tears was released for the COVID measures on Thursday. Thursday. It means that gyms can open, meaning that I can go back to work. Not being able to teach classes is obviously a bit of a kick in the teeth. With, obviously, this time of year being around Christmas and wanting to see your family, wanting to see your friends. Everything's new and no one knows what's happening really. Hello. I hope you're right. Yeah, off for a spot in photography in the Oh yes, that's it, absolutely. See any of it? Different countries are doing lockdown differently. Um, stricter measures, travel to different countries. But in this video, I mainly wanted to focus around calories. With some people, it's a sticky subject and a difficult subject. How many calories do you need to consume to stay active? What your fitness levels are? It all depends on your goals. So, you as a person knows how active you are. And if you're obviously more active than other people, you need more calories to be able to burn off, eat and consume to stay at the weight that you are. For me, it depends on, again, how active you are, but if you're doing a sport, like, I watch these YouTube videos and I'll see all these fitness models with ripped tabs and ripped six packs and you can see every muscle on the body. It just depends on your goals. To me, that's not why I do fitness. I do fitness because of the group exercise environment. You're all being in a group, striving to one goal to get to the end of the class or just to have a good workout, improve your own fitness goals. Everyone's got their own reason to come to a group exercise class or to come to the gym or do exercise, whether it's running, swimming, biking, coming to the gym, weightlifting, bodybuilding. I wanted to talk about tracking calories. I personally don't track my calories. I'm not really into fitness as much as I should be or that size of fitness. I understand how to lose weight and what works for me and what might work for me won't work for other people because of my body mass and taking into consideration how active you are. Tracking calories is good for some people. It depends on your dedication as well, I suppose, how dedicated you are to get the lowest body fat you can do but then you've got to think why are you doing it are you doing it for a specific sport or are you doing it for your own personal reasons how much alcohol do you drink then obviously cut down earlier in the week to take into consideration those calories but i'm probably the worst person to ask about calories in my diet again i would like to lose a bit of fat but that just depends on how strict i am with my diet and obviously like I say how much alcohol I want to drink at the weekend or in the weekday. <coughs> As you all know that these lockdowns are getting tougher and you can't do as much as you want to do and you just become bored so you you go to the cupboard you might have one biscuit and then think oh I quite like that and then it gets addictive and then you think oh I'll have another biscuit and then by the time you know what's come around or the packet's gone thank you for watching my previous video then on youtube um doing a few jobs as normal getting out doing a few different walks doing a few different videos just trying to put a bit more content in for you guys to hopefully appreciate and i'm currently out doing a walking video a lot of stuff that i'm going to be talking about over the coming weeks is all interlinked calories are interlinked with your job and your work because how sedentary you've become or how active you are or what your job is if you're an elite athlete or if you're a group exercise instructor like me and personal trainer you'll be more active than a person who might work in the office camera on a tripod my arm up in the air 
and my arms aching after about three minutes. You can um, see me, you can see my arms start high up and then it just slowly becomes down and down and down. Fast food outlets or takeaway services then. Fast food outlets nowadays sign up to delivery services. It's so easy for me to order something on takeaway app and then in two, three minutes, it's here rather than actually physically going to the pub, getting a meal, having a Chinese, going to a restaurant. It might be cheaper, but again, in the long run, is that more beneficial on our health? If my mum buys a packet of crisps, a packet of chocolate, a tin of biscuits, whatever, and they're open, then that's it. Within one, two days, I have to eat them because I know they're there. My self-control and self-discipline is lacking it all links back to your goals so how fit how healthy do you want to be <coughs> hey my watch has just beeped to say that i've done 15,000 steps because i'm doing less exercise less classes not walking around as much as at the gym i'm obviously doing less exercise than i would normally so that means that i need less calories activity trackers are a good way to generally track your fitness and track your steps and calories but they're not a true representation of what we do your heart rates monitor on the back of the watch or your activity tracker isn't actually that accurate compared to wearing a heart rate monitor for instance every time that i do an exercise class go out for a run or just any general exercise i always tend to wear a heart rate once now just because I want a more accurate reading. Then let's take in, uh, into consideration um, exercise on a treadmill. You look at the speed, the speed's the only thing that is actually right on the treadmill and the time, the distance and the calories that you burn is often overestimated and overguessed. People think that they're actually doing 5k on a treadmill whereas with a GPS watch connecting to the satellites it means that you're able to more accurately judge your distance because again it link, links up to the satellite so it's like your phone linking up to satellites to get mobile data for you to go on social media consideration and average not necessarily specific to you unless you enter obviously your height your weight other factors then it might be more accurate do that on a fitness tracker if you've got an app you can set in how many steps how much exercise you want to do per day and all your body composition it's normally said the lower the rest and heart rate the fitter they are thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was something a bit different if you like the video and want to see more of those kinds of videos as opposed to me just doing jobs or going out for a walk comment down below in the comment section like the video and subscribe to me as normal see you later and stay tuned for the next video